Converting Atoms to Mass, Part 1, by Mr. Thiel. All right, so now we're going to take a look at a problem that is a little bit more complex than the ones that we've been looking at so far. Uh, this problem is asking us to find the mass in grams of a given a number of atoms of our element nickel. So the mass in grams of 7.5 times 10 to the 15 atoms of nickel. So now what we have to um, do is we have to essentially follow a two-step process. And this is actually the first problem that we're going to look at where we see the central importance of the mole. The mole is like the central hub that we are almost always returning to whenever we're doing stoichiometric problems, problems uh, that, um, that we will end up doing uh, as we advance through our chemistry class. Uh, it always seems to be coming back to the mole and we, we once we get um, our given uh, value in moles, we're then able to go in almost any kind of direction that we want to want to go or need to go. So, um, but that in this problem, it's a two-step process to get to our final answer. So we uh, again start off the same way though. We say uh, we are given uh, some something here. We're given 7.5 times 10 to the 15 uh, atoms of nickel. Okay, so we find this up on our diagram up here from our textbook. We're given a number of atoms of our element. But now when we look at what we have to find, we have to find the mass of nickel. And we see that the mass of, uh, of our element is all the way over on the other side of this diagram, which gives us a pathway to follow uh, when we are doing these types of problems and is helpful to use right now. Eventually, ultimately, you have to um, do these problems without the benefit of having this diagram, but it's very helpful when you're trying to learn how to do this. So we see here now that um, we can't just get from atoms to mass directly. We have to go through the mole first. So again, though, we will start off the way we always do. We write down what we're given in fractional form. So we're given 7.5 times 10 to the 15 atoms of nickel over 1. And then when we look up at our diagram, we see, okay, if we multiply this times the reciprocal, uh, or excuse me, one mole over Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. That's our conversion factor that will help us get from atoms atoms to moles. So we uh, write this in then. So we multiply our given number of atoms times one mole of nickel over the number of atoms we find in uh, one mole of nickel. That's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of nickel. That's uh, Avogadro's number uh, of atoms of this our particular element here, nickel. So if we did the math on just these two items here, uh, we would see that our atoms would cancel out and we're left with moles, which is, um, like I said, it's the central hub of uh, where we need to get to. If we get to moles, then we can go wherever we need to go, in any direction we need to go. So uh, doing this math will allow us to get to uh, the amount of our element in moles. Okay, but we're not done there because uh, we're asked to find uh, grams and we have found moles, so we're not quite done. So we have to now take the number of moles that we have and figure out where we need to go after this. Now if we take the number of moles uh, of our element nickel and multiply it times the molar mass of nickel, um, that will then finally lead us to the mass of nickel, you know, this amount of nickel in grams. Now to find the molar mass of an element, um, we refer to the periodic table and look at the average atomic mass of that element and that is numerically equivalent to the molar mass of our element. So we'll look at the periodic table and we find our element nickel and we see that nickel has an average atomic mass of 58.6934 AMUs. Well that number is numerically equivalent to the molar mass of nickel which would make our molar mass 58.6934 grams of nickel per one mole of nickel. So we're going to then take that number and go back to our uh, problem 
and we will now write in the molar mass of nickel that we just found from the periodic table into our problem. We have 58.6934 grams of nickel for every one mole of nickel. And this ultimately should get us now to the mass of grams of this, um, this number of atoms of nickel that we started with. So, when we run through the math, again, we can see how our units cancel out. In this case, our units are uh, atoms of nickel and, gram and uh, moles of nickel that will end up canceling out. So, we have uh, atoms, 7.5 times 10 to the 15 atoms of nickel, times 1 mole of nickel over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of nickel. That get will give us moles of nickel, and with atoms having canceled out. And then we take our moles of nickel, multiply it times the molar mass of nickel, 58.6934 grams of nickel over 1 mole of nickel. And that uh, then we see there how our moles of nickel will cancel out, and we end up with grams of nickel which we are asked to find in the problem. So we get this big long number again, 7.30987213636 times 10 to the negative 7. That's too many significant figures. So if we take a look at the numbers we are given, we have 7.5 uh, times 10 to the 15 atoms of nickel. That's two significant figures. Our Avogadro's number down here is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. That's four significant figures. And the average atomic mass that we used has six significant figures. So we have to go with the smallest number, which is two significant figures. So we round our number to two sig figs. And so that gives us 7.3 times 10 to the negative 7 grams of nickel. So we uh, started with 7.5 times 10 to the 15 atoms of nickel. We went to the mole uh, to find, we found moles of nickel. How many moles was that? And then we used molar mass to find the mass of the, that number of moles of nickel. And our answer, 7.3 times 10 to the negative 7 grams of nickel. And we're through with this particular problem, a little more complex here. Just remember, the mole is central to solving this kind of problem. When we, if we can get to moles of our substance, that leads us in all directions and it's incredibly useful for the entire year if we know how to get to moles. Alright, that's it.